So the first thing that we have to learn about Codex configuration is sandbox and approval. So this is probably the most confusing concept that Codex beginners are uh, struggling with. So how are sandbox and approval different from each other? So think of sandbox as, you know, like constraints or the like limitations that you are putting on your agent or your Codex. And approval is your decision to allow or disallow your agent to do a certain task or use a certain tool. Uh, the act of asking permission is approval and the constraint or the bigger circle here is the sandbox so on the screen right here i'll give you the sandbox and approval configuration table so this is going to make your life much easier when using codex you don't have to worry too much about this complicated configuration most of the time you would have your sandbox as uh, works by right because you know when you code with agents you want your agent to change your files for a new files and the approval option would be on request you know you want to make sure that when agent tries to change any of your code it will ask for your permission so it is the default value for a sandbox and approval but sometimes you want to be extremely safe you would have the uh, sandbox says read only and you also have your approval as on request because you know you want your agent when it, it read any file it will ask for your permission but be careful with this option when really dangerous changes to your machine especially when uh, you also have your approval as never it will never ask for your permission it will do things autonomously which is very dangerous